I want to uh, go into the flap that has arisen uh, w between you and, and Carl Bernstein. On Monday, the veteran investigative reporter Carl Bernstein publicly criticized you for the statements you allegedly made during an interview with an Argentinian paper over the weekend. Reuters reported you said, quote, Snowden has enough information to cause more damage to the U.S. government in a minute alone than anyone else has ever had in the history of the United States, and then went on to say, quote, uh, the U.S. government should be on its knees every day, begging that nothing happened to Snowden, because if something does happen to him, all the information will be revealed, and it could be its worst nightmare. This is how Carl Bernstein responded to those supposed quotes that Reuters had from you. With all my regard for The Guardian, which is considerable, especially given its role in the Murdoch case, uh, that's an awful statement yeah. that that reporter made, uh, and the tone in which he made it. Uh, it's one thing to say that Mr. Snowden possesses some information that could be harmful, and that ought to be part of the calculation that everybody makes here. It's another to make that kind of an aggressive, non-repertorial statement that seems to me uh, I, the reporter has, has no happened. business making. Yeah. At the same time, uh, there, indeed, uh, are precautions, uh, I, other journalists know about this, that Snowden has taken in terms of secreting some information in various places uh, that perhaps uh, would disclose, uh, definitely would disclose more things, uh, some of which might or might not be inimical to the interests of the United States. Uh, but uh, that statement by, by wow. that reporter is out of line. Uh, Glenn Greenwell, briefly, uh, we just have a few seconds, your response to Carl Bernstein. Yeah, I think the way that Bob Woodward and, and Carl Bernstein went from being aggressive adversarial reporters against the government to insider Washington defenders of the government is a nice illustration for what happened to the U.S. media. Um, my criticism of him was that he relied on a Reuters summary of what I said, rather than taking the time to go read the actual interview. The Reuters summary was a complete distortion of what I said. I made the exact opposite point, that the criticism of Mr. Snowden for being reckless or harming the U.S. is based in complete fantasy, given that what he has it could be damaging if he released it, if that were his goal, and yet he has safeguarded that very responsibly um, to make sure that only what the public should know is is learned and that nothing harmful um, has been released. But it was a 36-hour media frenzy attacking him, attacking me, based on a complete distortion by Reuters, and Carl Bernstein and others were just too lazy to look into what was actually said.